Here at Winter Park Resort and other ski areas on National Forest land, we try to provide not only an opportunity for recreation, uh, but also manage for wildlife habitat as well. When managing for wildlife at the ski resort, we try to maintain habitat connectivity. Uh, an example of that would be maintaining large tree islands within the, within the ski area to provide opportunities for wildlife to move through and around the resort. So tree islands like this provide habitat for things like gray jays, and that's a, a common bird species that you might see while you're visiting Winter Park Resort. Gray jays are pretty interesting birds. They'll eat just about anything. And what they do is they take those little bits of food and they mix them with sticky saliva, and they'll cache them. Uh, throughout their territory in little cracks and crevices and trees. And to survive through the winter, it's really a memory test for these birds. They'll cache somewhere between 20 and 30,000 little bits of food in their territory. And to survive through the winter, they have to remember where at least a thousand of those bits of food are. Local research done here in the Fraser Valley, uh, which is where Winter Park Resort is located, has shown gray jays to live for a very long time and they've had banding results come back with birds living close to 20 years long. These birds often form long-term pair bonds and will stay with their partners uh, through most of their lives, if, if not their entire lives.